You know, as I mentioned earlier, we're now two years and two months in there, two years and one month into the lawsuit. Uh, SEC filed suit against us saying that our sales of XRP represented sales of unregistered securities. After two long years of legal battling, what do you think will be the conclusion of the SEC Ripple case? Who do you think will benefit from the ruling? A lot of people are rooting for Ripple's win, so it will be a mass disappointment if they lose, but a mass celebration if they win. With various predictions on when Judge Annalisa Torres of the Southern District of New York will release the verdict on one of the most followed cases in the crypto space, legal experts believe that the case ruling is imminent. According to XRP community attorney John E. Deaton, Judge Torres has probably never felt the pressure she's feeling now. Deaton shared, This decision is as big of a decision as this judge has ever faced. Think about what other decision is as big as this decision when it comes to global trade and finance in modern history. This is the most significant no-fraud SEC enforcement action since 1946. The issue is delicate, and Deaton believes that the judge is taking her time with the ruling by carefully analyzing every word. The judge would have to justify to all when the ruling goes in favor of Ripple. Also, she'll be dealing with the conservative court when the case goes against the blockchain company. However, the uncertainty of the impending ruling is not working in Ripple's favor, as regulatory uncertainty has already started to affect the blockchain company's business, and its standing with the XRP community. Ripple's newest product, Liquidity Hub LH, lacks support for XRP, causing outrage among part of the XRP community. However, the blockchain company's general counsel, Stuart Alderati, explained it was an enterprise institutional product, not retail and that regulatory clarity was important to enterprise customers. Having said that, Stuart Alderati, general counsel for Ripple, confirmed that, in the future, there might still be support for the cryptocurrency, stating that, we're keen to support XRP in LH when we can provide a good customer experience. Seemingly, the lawyer was hinting at the possibility of introducing XRP after the court decision in the Ripple vs. SEC case brings more clarity into the sector. Still, Ripple is not the only company to receive the SEC's wrath. In fact, the SEC has recently named six crypto assets as securities, including Dash, D-A-S-H, Algorand, A-L-G-O, OMG Network, OMG, Monolith, T-K-N, Naga, N-G-C, and IHT Real Estate Protocol, IHT, in a lawsuit against crypto exchange Bitrex, but not against the issuers, according to the SEC press release from April 17th. Specifically, the SEC alleges that these six digital assets listed on the crypto trading platform should be considered securities under U.S. law because, as the agency claims, investors had reasonable expectations of profits. Commenting on the development, David Schwartz, the CTO at Ripple, said on Twitter that this sounds like investment advice to me. Interestingly, the SEC boss Gary Gensler still refuses to provide a clear answer to the repeatedly asked question of whether Ethereum ETH is a security, including during his recent testimony before the U.S. House of Representatives Financial Services Committee, as Finbold reported on April 19th. It can be noted that the SEC filed a lawsuit against Ripple Labs for allegedly selling unregistered securities. According to Ripple's recently published XRP Markets Report for Q1 2023, Judge Annalisa Torres, who presides over the ongoing SEC lawsuit, issued an opinion that resulted in certain testimonies from SEC experts being struck from the court record. Under the heading, Update on the SEC Lawsuit Against Ripple, the report stated that the court recently issued a 57-page opinion regarding which opinions from both the SEC and Ripple's experts would be considered during summary judgment and trial and which ones needed to be struck from the record. The court struck the SEC's expert testimony on the reasonable expectations of an XRP purchaser, as well as their expert on who attempted to determine the cause of the price changes in XRP. A few weeks back, Stuart Alderati expressed confidence in their case after the court rejected the SEC's expert testimonies but retained those of Ripple. Alderati highlighted that the court allowed Ripple's experts to stay in, specifically those who explain how Ripple's contracts differ from those in the Howey case, the tax and accounting treatment of XRP, and the currency experts on XRP. He concluded by stating that Ripple has always felt confident about their case, and with each ruling, their confidence grows stronger. In light of this, cryptocurrency community members, including XRP enthusiasts, are eagerly awaiting Judge Torres' summary judgment on the case. Predictions on when Judge Torres may issue a ruling have been varied widely. 
notably the March 31st prediction made by pro XRP lawyer James K. Fillon, who has closely followed the lawsuit, did not come true as many anticipated. On the other hand, crypto law founder attorney John Deaton recently predicted that the summary judgment on Ripple vs. SEC might come on or before May 6, 2023. Ripple CEO was a little more vague with the prediction, speculating that the ruling could be issued within the first half of 2023. In the previously mentioned Ripple's recent Q1 2023 financial report, the company says it now expects the summary judgment decision to arrive before the end of the year. However, it emphasizes that the timing of the summary judgment is ultimately up to the court. Ripple also expressed concerns that the U.S. approach to crypto regulation has continued to focus on regulation by enforcement, instead of rulemaking. This can be seen as Coinbase and Paxos received Wells notices from the SEC, alleging various securities law violations and lack of registration. SEC Chair Gensler issued a broad warning to yield-earning crypto platforms to come into compliance after Kraken closed its staking service, prompting Commissioner Pierce to denounce her own agency's actions. During the last quarter, Ripple's total XRP sales net of purchases reached $361.06 million compared to $226.31 million in the previous quarter. The company has continued to sell XRP only in connection with on-demand liquidity ODL transactions. To ensure a sufficient supply for its growing ODL business, Ripple has sourced XRP from the open market since 2020, striving to minimize undue market impact with its purchases. Still, Ripple remains optimistic about the much-awaited conclusion of their legal battle against the SEC. In fact, Ripple has observed several instances and references point to their victory. Recently, its legal team referred the judge to her colleague in the same circuit, Judge Wiles, issuing a decision on March 11, 2023 to support the company's fair notice defense. It can be recalled that the SEC objected to the decision of Binance.us to acquire Voyager. The reason is that its token, VGX, had an aspect of securities. The SEC also claimed Binance US was an unregistered securities exchange without providing any explanation. SEC's objections were rejected by Judge Wiles, who also approved the bankruptcy plan. According to the Letter of Supplemental Authority, his ruling rationale is in line with many of Ripple's arguments. Ripple cited this from the ruling. Regulators themselves cannot seem to agree as to whether cryptocurrencies are commodities that may be subject to regulation by the CFTC, or whether they are securities that are subject to securities laws, or neither, or even what criteria should be applied in making the decision. An uncertainty that has persisted despite the fact that cryptocurrency exchanges have been around for a number of years. Meanwhile, according to Bill Morgan, a pro-XRP lawyer, the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission SEC, may be right about investors buying XRP with the expectation of Ripple winning the ongoing case against the SEC. The SEC's expert has reportedly acknowledged that the returns from Bitcoin and Ethereum account for most of XRP returns from mid-2018 to the present. However, the SEC continues to argue that XRP investors depend on Ripple's efforts for profits. Morgan's statement suggests that some people who support Ripple and XRP recognize the validity of some of the SEC's claims, even as they argue against the overall legal case against the cryptocurrency. Morgan further stated that if the SEC's expert analysis is accurate, Ripple would be accountable for the price fluctuations of Bitcoin and Ethereum impacting XRP's value. In addition, Morgan argues that Ripple's position as a centralized entity gives it control over the price of XRP. This raises questions about the decentralization of XRP and the role of Ripple in its market performance. According to Morgan, the regulator's claim acknowledges investors may be banking on Ripple's legal endeavors to reap gains rather than the company's business efforts. This suggests that the outcome of Ripple's legal battle against the SEC holds substantial weight in terms of the value of XRP. As such, it highlights the crucial role that the lawsuit plays in shaping the future of cryptocurrency and its investors. Paradoxically, the SEC may be correct about investors relying on Ripple's efforts, but not because of Ripple's business efforts or sales of XRP, but its legal efforts defeating the SEC's lawsuit should it be successful, said Morgan. Make sure to hit the subscribe button to be updated.